every, everyone, I want to jump on here. What a beautiful afternoon we have going on here. Just beautiful sunshine out. Love this kind of weather. The fall's one of my favorite times just for the crispness. Hey, I want to talk about a little story about the market and about how we take care of our clients. All right, so we just listed a home a few weeks ago in the heart of Brook, Brookhaven Borough in a development called Cambridge Square. It's a, two, uh, a list of 240 townhouses right in the borough there. So great location. And the one thing about townhouses is, right, you usually have several comps. The comparables are easy to pull up, right? They don't change a lot. There's a lot of similar houses. It makes it easy to be able to draw a conclusion, basically, of where the comps are. We listed the house on a Friday, had several agents come through the first day. Good for them. I mean, that was awesome. We ended up taking a strong offer the first day. We ended up selling it um, to the, actually the first agent that came through it. Great job, Katie, on your end. Um, she came in with a strong offer. Her clients obviously really wanted the house. She understood how to put it together. Again, it's so important to work with good agents. Let me put it on this side because I see a lot of sunshine, sunshine on that side. So anyway, so let's talk about where the market's going and why it's important to work with a strong team or a strong agent. The uh, the market, right? So when we talk about the market, you hear the, you hear the news out there. They talk about uh, we're having a shortage of houses, uh, inventory's low, there's not a lot of houses to buy, um, stuff like that. What that really equates to is that there's just not enough sellers out there. It's not so much a housing shortage, it's a housing for, sh for sale shortage. And then also the, what that turns around is that there's usually multiple offers on every house out there. So what does that mean? That means that we're in a seller's market. Um, in the olden days, and I'm not going back like that far, it used to be if you want to know the value of your house, you had a couple options. You looked in the newspaper for what sold around you. You called a local realtor or you knocked on your neighbor's doors and found out what they either were buying or selling these houses for. Nowadays with the internet, buyers are very comfortable with basically digging down and really getting ingrained on where the values are you know buyers know things like what the square foot of a neighborhood is uh, they know what the most recent comparables were uh, they know what the neighborhoods like they know the schools i mean like they really get to have a lot of information uh with the tools that are out there these big platforms so it's really easy for buyers to know the value so it's not easy anymore to just stick a sign in your yard and ask for a price and try. Let's try that price, see what happens. It doesn't really work that way anymore. The buyers themselves know the value and it's important to be able to land near that value or you're not gonna sell your house and at the end of the day, you're most likely gonna get less for your seller. So it's important to have a strategy. So our, our strategy with our team is number one, we're former contractors so we can get your house to the condition that needs to be to sell. And I'm gonna kind of blow over that real quickly. I'm not gonna to dive too deep into that because I'm gonna talk more about comparables and price strategy. So the house we just sold, it went 5% over asking. So what did that do? I just raised the neighborhood value by over 5%. Think about how powerful that is for the other 239 homes in there that we've been able to, to raise the value for the next sale, right? You think of most realtors, they look through the comparables they say, oh, well, we sold, there's one here sold for that, one here sold from that. That's old school. That's not enough anymore. Right now on this market, you have to be, you have to be able to do what, the, what we coined as a predictable home analysis. So not only do we take the neighborhood we're in, we look at how many hits were on those houses because we, there's tools out there that are public that we can see how often people are touching those prices, how many offers they had. And with that, we can draw a conclusion to know where the value's going, right? And that's how we can be comfortable enough to say, well, we can list at this price because we know we can grab that value. You know, the worst thing you can do in a listing is overprice your home because your best eyeballs are gonna hit the market or hit that house the first two weeks. And if we scare them off, there's a good chance that we're not gonna get the number we want. Very important. Two weeks, the first two weeks on the market are so imperative. Anyway, so what we do is we have a predictable home analysis system that we use that we can know what the value is going to be in the next few weeks, maybe the next few months, knowing that we can raise our value, raise the neighborhood values, and really come up to something that really makes sense for everybody. I mean, there's just nothing better 
than to be able to get a price that the seller was either wasn't sure they could get, but realistically beats the comparables in the neighborhood. And on top of that, we get to raise the value of everybody's house in the neighborhood. I mean, it's just, it, it makes me feel good inside when we can actually take care of people at that level. So anyway, reach out. We'd love to meet with you guys. Anybody who's looking to sell, have a consultation with our team. We'll explain how this predictive home analysis works. We can explain to you how we prepare houses and we can show you why we get more money than almost any other real estate team out there.